Hi everyone. So I am getting these questions on my YouTube channel every day. Is Terraform going to be dead? What has changed? So I thought maybe I'll do a short video to explain what exactly has changed and how does it impact the life of a DevOps and Cloud Engineer. So what happened was on around 10th of August, HashiCorp came up with some changes to their licenses. So what they made changes were that they were using more of a public license so far. That means people are contributing, it's an open source project, and then anybody can make use of that source code, enhance that, add more capabilities, and sell it for commercial reasons. So a lot of companies, um, Scalar, and a lot of other uh, variants of Terraform were available in the market. They changed on 10th of August that anybody using for commercial purposes will have to use a business license which would mean that they would probably have to pay some royalty to HashiCorp who has been the founder and maintainer of the Terraform project so far. Uh, so for as a DevOps engineer, as a cloud engineer or any organization that is using the open source Terraform so far, it does not impact them at all. It mainly is to control the competition to make sure that the companies that are giving competition to Terraform, to HashiCorp, they want to tame that competition, they want to control them and it is to basically manage them. So as an organization, if you are using the free version of Terraform, open source Terraform, as a cloud engineer, you have been working on Terraform, it does not impact you directly, at least at this stage. You can continue to use any version of Terraform, doesn't matter. If it impacts the organizations that were using Terraform as base product and adding more capabilities and selling it as a different product competing with Terraform other offerings like Terraform Cloud and Terraform Enterprise. So what those organizations have now come up with, they are threatening HashiCorp that they will fork the Terraform code and they will start a new open Terraform uh, kind of project which will be truly open source for this entire life and that will probably convince customers to move away from the HashiCorp Terraform and move to an open Terraform uh, kind of platform, which will they will fork from a slightly older version of uh, a Terraform repository, which was public license, and they will start using that. So I think it's not a thing for DevOps and cloud engineer or the organizations to worry so much at this stage. This opens up a bit of risk what HashiCorp can do in future because they will be owning this. But my personal opinion, uh, if you ask me if any organization is taking this step, if we look at, uh, for example, Atlassian taking over uh, the open source Jira and then adding so much capabilities on top of Jira, it's such a big startup in Australia. So I don't think uh, we need to worry about it as long as HashiCorp remains loyal to the customers and uh, have a reasonable licensed product in future which adds a lot of new capabilities, new uh, frameworks and new sort of providers that it supports. If it's uh, keep on doing that, keep adding more functionality, it shouldn't be uh, such an issue. Obviously, uh, that will get into a monopoly kind of uh, business if they kill all the uh, competition right, right now. Uh, we, we don't know what sort of steps they can take. So that risk will remain. But as such, I don't see it being uh, such a concern for us. It may actually be betterment uh, for the product as such. Thank you.